Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey Star Wars fans, it is Friday. We all know what Friday means on my channel. It is Power of the Force Fridays. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. This week we're going to the second pack of the Max Rebo Band 2 packs that came out uh, back in 97. Uh, we have Joe Yelza, the Yuzum, uh, who was a new character to the special editions in 1997. And a updated version, a slightly different animated version of Size Snoodles. I think this is a better version of Slice Noodles. I love the love the original look, the puppet, but um, going with something a little bit more, a little bit more animated, a little bit more, you know, presence rather than just a, a puppet with sticks. Um, I think it, I think it worked out well. Whether you like Jedi Rocks or whether you're a purist and prefer uh, the original song, doesn't really matter. These these two figures are cool. I'm glad I've got them. I'm glad they came out. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at them one by one. So here is Joe Yowza. He is a Yuzum. That is his species. He is apparently native to Endor. The same planet as the Ewoks. Um, yeah, I don't think we've seen any other Yuzums, to be honest, in, in Star Wars since. If we have, I'm completely blanking on it but yeah in terms of these figures you know they're, they're reasonably sort of, sort of pre-posed you know there's there's not a lot of articulation there they're sort of they're display pieces like I spoke about last week with the Max Rebo and the the Rodian Dota um yeah they're more or less just sort of display pieces for before the, your Jabba's Palace diorama um which the Bo the Boba Fett's palace diorama, which has just come out, um, I unfortunately missed it. So I'm really hoping to be able to pick one up in the coming coming weeks and months on the secondary market. Um, because yeah, I didn't get my pre order, but that's besides the point. So yeah, he uh, he does have five points of articulation. There's just a twist on the legs. So you can, if you wanted to, you could have him sitting down. <laughs> he doesn't look overly comfortable, but um, you can if you chose to. Just has the swivels on the shoulders and then a little, yeah, tiny little swivel on the head. Just the way the head sort of sits on the, uh, on the shoulders there. But he's a funny looking alien, man. Like he's, I don't know. This guy runs up to the camera and, ah! when he's singing. Like I don't know. I I enjoy it. I I do see the uh, I do see the perks of the original over this sort of the CG animated uh, version from the special editions. But uh, Star Wars has uh, always been a little bit about whimsy, and I wonder if that's actually technically like a four pack, <laughs> like. I think he's got abs and pectoral muscles and I don't know, maybe, maybe one nipple. Who knows? You have to ask the, uh, the master craftsman at Kenner from back in the day. In terms of the paint job, it's not too bad. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's simple. It doesn't need to be anything more than that. You can kind of see some layers of detail. There is, you know, the the fur, you can sort of see the different contrast of colors there between the gray and the sort of the orangey brown underneath. And obviously the fur on the, on the chest and stuff there. A couple of toes. But yeah, he, he's a funny looking alien. He's, he's interesting. Uh, Slice Noodles, here we go. She's, she's fantastic. I love her appearance in the Clone Wars. Put a voice to the, uh, oh, you know, a talking voice. Again, sort of just four points of articulation or five. The legs, the arms, and the head, which. But again, a very crazy looking 
funny looking alien um again sort of pre-posed to be sort of like mid mid dance i guess she's got some moves happening she's just do 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 i don't know <laughs> but she looks good the sort of green with the blue patches following a lot of designs from the puppet i do have the kenner the original kenner size snoodles here you can see there are some differences there she has some tusks under there and the feather on the head probably a little more uh alien i guess if 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 there's any way to sort of distinguish one as being more alien than the other um <laughs> i guess yeah there's a, i don't know it feels like there's a lot more personality in the new one the old one's kind of just it's there but it's it's a it's still cool i like the old size noodles just because you wanted to see a bum i know you did don't lie to me um yeah i don't have the microphones to the original versions but it's still cool but yeah we're here for power of the force see even the, the the sort of skin texture there on on the belly which is cool on the backs got the wrinkles in the skin and that sort of texture of the skin there as well still rocking the skirt yep you see in the bum unpainted no blue spots on the bum which is you know ideally a good thing um, I'd, I'd assume but yeah two figures just I don't know they, 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 they're cool they're, they're aesthetically pleasing they look funny they're, they're interesting to look at they're you know a nice diversity um, to the shelf to the display um, they fit in well with the rest of the band I'd love to hear if you're whether a fan of fan of Jedi rocks you prefer the uh do you prefer the original love to hear your thoughts and yeah next week we'll be looking at droopy mccall and barquin dan the last of the musicians of the band six anyway because they're also also uh Rappatuni and the three dancers I may do it at some point as well yeah cool cool figures I, I, I would love to see an articulated update for these two um, being able to pose them up a little bit more I can that'd be fantastic but more than happy with what they've given us they don't need to be sort of super articulated they're fine they display well the way they are but you know just for the purposes of having fun with with new toys I'd be all up for it let me know what you think guys and we'll see you again for another power of the force Friday next week. Stay tuned. Hope you have enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you again then. May the force be with you always.